tropical grassland, covered in shrubs and grasses, but not many trees. Around two million large plant-eating mammals live here, including this one, nature's goofiest giant, giraffe. Did you know they drink urine and have neck fights? Yeah, me neither. The giraffe is a large African hoofed mammal belonging to the genus Giraffa and the species Giraffa camelopardalis, which roughly means camel leopard. Hmm, I wonder why? Because apparently to whoever named it, this goofy face looks like the product of camel and leopard. Even though in the face they resemble a really skinny horse, a giraffe is, unlike a horse even toed ungulate, supporting its weight on two hooves. These tallest living land animals can grow to around 5.5 meters. That's taller than three adult humans. Warm weather is all year round with a lot of rain in wet season, followed by long periods with little rain or no rain at all. Both plants and animals have adapted very well. Due to this lack of precipitation, it can be tough for large plants like trees to grow in savannas. So if there are not many trees there, how can they hide from predators like lions and hyenas? Camouflage makes them virtually invisible. Can you see them? Where are they? You don't know. Hmm. But maybe this glamorous camouflage works better through caravore eyes. Although giraffes are known for their patches, primarily used for camouflage, they are serving as an important tool in regulating body temperature. Really unexpected but intriguing fact. The dark patches on a giraffe's body hide an intricate network of blood vessels and glands. Sending blood through these small branches into the middle of the patch in order to release heat through this system each patch acts as a thermal window, allowing blood to flow through it, releasing body heat and cooling the body. So, yeah, these patches are not just cool looking. Acacia trees, important food source for many large herbivores, especially giraffes. Giraffes eat plant material like leaves high in the trees, and they can eat up to 29 kilograms of acacia leaves and twigs daily. But do you see these thorns? They are so big. Eating this thorny plant certainly does not look that fun. In order to successfully eat as many leaves as possible and fewer thorns, their mouths and teeth are adapted specially for this. On the top of the giraffe's mouth, front teeth have migrated to the back to assist with chewing because there are no upper front teeth, there is a thick dental pad, which together with the lower teeth helps with the grabbing and tearing. This mouth and tongue dance is something else. Lips are tough and flexible, and the tongue looks like an eel trying to escape. And if a thorn happens to get through their mouth, no worries. These animals are protected by their thick and slobbery saliva. The giraffe's tongue is typically black, blue, or purple, and can measure 20 inches long. Giraffes may not be able to dance, but their tongues sure have some good moves. While they may eat a lot, giraffes don't drink much water, and this is because they get most of their water from their leafy meals, only needing to drink once every few days. But when they do, it is truly a sight. Like this thirsty giraffe, assuming the position of a very drunk person trying to find something lost on the ground. Spreading their legs to an almost 90 degree angle to enable their long neck to reach down and drinking as much as possible. Yes, this acrobatics puts them in a vulnerable position. When they drink, they make the most of it, closing their throat sinking their puckered lips into the water with a jaw pulled back, allowing water to rush into the mouth. Next, with clenched lips and an open throat, pumping their jaw so that the captured water is forced water back into the esophagus. 
When they lift their neck and head, all the water rushes to their stomach. Impressive. You may have noticed that these animals are very, very tall. Just look at this exquisite long neck. Interestingly, humans and giraffes have the same number of bones in their necks. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Their vertebrates are just bigger. The reason the giraffe's neck is so long is that otherwise its head would be floating, detached, above the rest of its body, and that would be silly. Just kidding, of course. In giraffes, the equivalents to our metatarsal bone and metacarpal bone are extremely elongated, accounting for roughly half the leg length. A distinct groove runs along the length of these bones, housing a structure called the suspensory ligament. These bones that make up almost half of their leg length are comparable to the bones in our hands and feet. And what appears to be their knees are actually their wrists and ankles. With these thin, long legs, they can gallop up to 37 miles per hour and look so graceful. Okay, we have a better example, like this one. Giraffes are amazing. They are not territorial animals, but they are social, roaming around in groups. Giraffes live together in unstable or loose-feeding herds we call towers. What I can say, the name is so creative. Herd members will stay for a while, then leave to find another herd. There is no defined leader in the group. The herds can be all male, all female, mixed, or just two giraffes. Even when resting, herd members stay a good distance away from each other. Yes, some of us like our personal space too. Are these horns or do they just have a bumpy head? Not quite. These bumps are called ossicones. Ossicones are formed from ossified cartilage and are covered in skin. Females have cute little tufts on them while male ones look pretty much bold on top. As a result of frequent necking fighting with their necks and heads, their fights look something like this. Yes, a little bit strange. Although it doesn't look like it, these blows can be quite strong, enough to break a neck, like this poor fellow. The fight continues until it is established who is the boss and who has rights to a potential mate. The male will check a female's readiness to mate by smelling and tasting her urine. Sometimes male giraffes will even headbutt females in the bladder until they pee, which is certainly a way to do it. Weirdos. Click subscribe and go with us through the most interesting world of nature. See you in the next video. World Cut.